Hey, this is Brian from Super Easy Toots, and in this tutorial, we are going to cover the see out statement, running a program in Quincy, and comments. So, to begin, let's uh, open our template file that we created from tutorial one. If you haven't done that, go back and take a look at tutorial one. And basically, we're going to type in some text, and we're going to do it uh, after this. Um, after this open brace and before this return zero. Uh, so you can click anywhere in there and just type in the following type C O U T and then two less than signs and then quote hello world end quote and semicolon and basically what we're doing here is we're um, making a statement a C out statement an output statement uh, and it's going to output whatever follows these two less than signs. <clears throat> in this uh, in this instance, it's hello world, and then the semicolon is the end of the line. Basically, it's letting the uh, program know that that's the end of the line. Um, now we've got everything kind of crunched together, and the program will run this way. Uh, but what I want you to do is I want you to click in here right after C out and put a space in there and right after these um, right after these less than signs as well it's just easier to read uh, you don't have to do this but you're gonna find later on when you have a lot of code that it makes it a lot easier to read the code um, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna save this because if we go to try and debug and run it um, it's gonna save it as template which is up here and you can see that star means that it hasn't been saved so if we go in here and just do file save as and then just put program one and now we can run it now we see program run up here in the header so if you uh, if uh, in Quincy just go up here and click on debug run and then it's gonna say do you want to build it click yes and then this is basically compiling it and checking it for errors making sure it's clean and then here's our output and we wanted hello world to be the output and sure enough there it is so that one's done so we can uh, click enter to get rid of that and then close the uh, close the build box and then the next thing we're gonna go over is comments basically you can comment stuff out by uh, one of two ways if you have just a, one line that you want to comment out um, just two backslashes like that will do the job if you have multiple lines what you have to do is you have to hit backslash star and then whatever follows that the next few lines until until you want to uh, to end the comment um, the ending mark is star backslash and any text that would appear in here would then be commented out and I'm going to show you how to do that above if we go in here before this pound include and just do backslash star and then right after this uh, using namespace if we do it on the next line let's do star backslash and you can see that's all green now so that's all commented out and the reason I'm commenting this out is to just to show you that this C out statement is basically located in this IO stream file and then the using namespace is uh, is telling the compiler in the program to use the standard declaration of uh, the items located in the IO stream so if I, I'm gonna compile this right now and you're gonna see that it's gonna come up with an error go through the same process debug run yes and now we see we have an error C out was not declared in this scope and uh, that's because we've commented this out so it doesn't have access to this file or to the standard declarations um, so if we get rid of this and I'm going to show you that both of these lines have to be in here if we just comment out this pound include now it's just saying use standard declarations but it doesn't have any files so if we go through the same process you're going to see the same C out was not declared in this scope if we get rid of these comment marks and do them here so now we have access to the file go through the same process debug run build and have that same C out or that same error uh, C out was not declared in this scope so we'll get rid of these comments and I'll show you that now with those comments gone we can run this program and it'll effectively execute and there we go back to what we originally wanted so we can close these um, basically the summary uh, as far as the see out statement goes it's good to learn it early on in your programming because uh, you'll find that you can um, 
throughout your programs, you can use the CL to uh, to make sure that your variable names and your variables have the the proper um, the proper value that you want them to have. It's also good to see later on when we get into functions to to see out something inside a function to see that you're actually inside that function. So it's good to learn this uh, this early on.